Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com and welcome to another Mixology tutorial. Now in this Mixology tutorial we're going to teach you guys basically how to create a nice portrait preset that's basically going to make our portraits pop, but it's also going to do a good job of kind of smoothing out skin and unflattering details, and then the rest we can handle with our brushes. But this will kind of get us started with, and it'll actually do kind of most of the job for uh, most of our images. So let's start out of course with our standard import preset, which hopefully you guys already have applied. We have just a uh, generic raw file loaded up here of a portrait that we did not too long ago. So just load up any image is fine. Now what we want to do is when we're creating these presets, uh, or when we're creating these mixology presets, we want to create the preset based on uh, a properly exposed image, based on the majority of images, okay? So if the majority of your images are half a stop underexposed, then you want to lighten by half a stop. But we try and shoot properly exposed, so we're not going to do any exposure adjustments here. If we need to make exposure adjustments, they're actually going to be done on the image after we apply this mixology preset. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do dynamic range flatten first, and this is going to basically flatten out the highlight tones on the skin just to kind of create a more flattering look to the skin. It's going to even out those tones a little bit. We're also going to lightly soften the skin by choosing this uh, light soften on the detail. And again, this is going to soften up some of the detail. It's going to uh, basically reduce the clarity a little bit by, uh, or reduce the clarity a little bit and basically kind of soften up some of the lines. So it's going to take out some of that unflattering detail. Now it doesn't go too much because we don't want to kind of reduce too much of the overall clarity, just a little bit. Now we're going to skip contrast because we're going to add that in our curve. What we're going to do from here is add light noise reduction. Now this step is kind of optional for you guys. Some of you guys might want to have more control and do it on basically a kind of an image by image basis with your brush settings. But I like to have just a light amount of noise reduction. It's just a small amount and what it's going to do is it's not going to kill much of the detail. Like we still see basically all the detail in the hair and everything like that. As long as your image was sharp to begin with, we'll still see the majority of the detail there. Especially with our standard import preset which adds a little bit of sharpening. But what it's going to do is just kind of soften up a little bit of the pores on the skin just a bit. Okay, so after we apply that, we're going to go on to our tone curve. And so let's click this closed. We're going to go to a neutral curve and we're going to apply the ivory neutral punch, which is going to add our contrast curve and just kind of make the image pop just a bit. Now we're done from here. All we're going to do is save this in our mixology. Let's see where we're at. We're on 0, 07 right now. We're actually going to reorganize this when we get to uh, version 1.1 with the update. But for right now, let's call it 08 and we'll call it portrait. We'll call it portrait magic. I like the word magic. Make sure everything is all selected, uh, so click check all and we're going to hit create. The reason why you want to do that is because we want all of our mixologies to work independently of each other, uh, whereas the adjustments and everything down here, these are all individual items that stack. Alright, so there it is, there's portrait magic. Let's go and look at what it looks like on a different image. So let's take maybe this image and we'll apply that same setting. So here's the base file. We apply portrait magic and all we have to do from here is really just adjust a little bit of the exposure. I might take it up just a little bit. If it's minor adjustments, like this only needs to go up by like say 0.2 or 0.3, I'll just do it over here in the panel because that's where we need to go to make minor adjustments. But you can see from the before versus the after, this does a really nice job of making the image pop, but it also kind of softens up the skin tones a little bit, makes it look just a little more flattering. Let's actually show you guys what the before and after look like on that original image. So here's that original. Uh, this is the after. Here is the before. All right. And let's show you guys another image. So let's go, let's see. Let's try it with one of these images. So let's take maybe this one and let's do the same thing. So portrait magic. We should see it. It should work really well for most of you guys' images. It's going to just create a nice soft look for them. If you guys want from here, you can add a little bit of like vignetting just based on taste and based on which image you're kind of working on. For this image, it works really well. But you can see that this preset does a great job of just getting us quickly to where we want to go as far as getting that nice, light, soft look with our portraits. And then from here, we just make a basic adjustment to, contra or to exposure and whatnot. All right, guys, so hope you guys enjoy that Mixology. You guys have it saved in your Mixology folder, and we'll see you guys with the next Mixology tutorial.